Okay, let's take a look at lesson 3.1 in our math book. We're going to use multiplication to compare two numbers. I want you to read the success criteria out loud to me and stay together. Ready? I can write addition or multiplication equations given a comparison sentence. I can write a comparison sentence given an addition or multiplication equation. I can solve comparison word problems involving multiplication. Quietly give me a thumbs up if we know our multiplication. We've been singing songs about it. I know you started it in third grade. We've got some really great multiplication skills. Today we're going to be using math. You can put your thumbs down. We're going to be using math that has a little bit more words in it than our chapter 2 did. Do not get scared that it has more words in it. We're going to model the counters and draw to show our model. There are 20 counters. Five of them are yellow. and the rest are red. So there are 20 counters, five are yellow and the rest are red. We have five yellow counters. All together we have 20. We have 20 all together, not 25. And then we have fifteen red. If we add five and fifteen together, do we get twenty? Yes. yes, we do. Pause it for just a minute so you can finish coloring in your counters and then numbering them. How many more red counters are there than yellow? Everyone? Seven. So there are 15 red and 5 yellow. How many more red than yellow? Seven. 10. So we have 15 minus 5 is 10. So the part that I'm really paying attention to is how many more. So when you're reading word problems, make sure you're really paying attention to each word. Even though more sounds like a small word, it's really important in this. We're not saying how many red or how many yellow, we're saying how many more red. So if I see here, there are five yellows and five reds, they cancel each other out and I'm still left with 10 red. I can also just write it as a subtraction problem. 15 minus 5 is 10. How many times as many red counters are there as yellow counters? The word I'm paying attention to here, how many times? Think of multiplication. Go ahead. So yes, three times as many red. Yes, I love that. So I can do 15 divided by 3 is 5. We know that we have one group of 5 here for yellow. And then we have a group of 5, 5, and 5 for reds. So I love how you said 15 divided by 3 is 5. Also, if I look at, there's one group of yellow and three groups of red. So there are three times as many. Do you see that on page 70? Mm -hmm. 24 is four times as many as six because six is here and there are four of them to equal 24. Mm -hmm. 
24 is how many times as many as 4? Everyone? Six. six. 24 is six times as many as four because there is one, two, three, four, five, six fours. Over here, we did six at the bottom because there was only one. And then how many times? One, two, three, four. At the bottom of the page on number one, it says write two comparison sentences for the equation. So right here, I would put 15 is three times as many as five. And I can also write 15 is five times as many as three. Number two, raise your hand if you can come up with a comparison sentence for number two. Yes. Perfect. So one of the sentences is 32 is, and anytime I see is in a word problem in math, I know that it's equals to. So 32 is four times as many as eight. The other way to write that. I love it. Yes, 32. Good job is eight times as many as four. You can draw the model if you need to on number three and four. I'm going to do it without the model. If you're needing to do that, it's just the picture that they drew at the top of the page for the example. I do want you to write the equation. So this is the most important part to me, is that you are able to write that equation and understand what the word meaning is. And that's for number three and four. 21 is... 14 more than 7. So I'm going to say 21 is is equal to 7 plus 14. When I see more than in this chapter and, and going forward in word problems, more than, I'm going to be looking at addition or subtraction. When I'm looking at times, here it's basic. We're looking at multiplication, but in the future you guys might see times and it may give you a piece of the puzzle where you actually have to divide to find those answers. 40 is eight times as many as five. So I'm gonna say 40 equals eight times five.
Okay, let's look at the top of the page. Page 71, number 5, says 48 equals 6 times 8. How can I write two comparison sentences for that equation? You want to try it? You want to try it? How would I write it as a comparison? Just like we did on number one and two. Go ahead. Perfect. What's another way we can write that? <coughs> Perfect. We have 48 is 6 times as many as 8, and 48 is 8 times as many as 6. Number six. Six three is seven times as many as nine. Good. Go ahead. Sixty-three is nine times seven. Nine times as many as, as seven. seven. Perfect. Scoot that over a little bit. Sixty-three is seven times as many as nine. Sixty-three is nine times as many as seven. Number seven and eight, you're gonna write out, you're gonna write out an equation for the comparison sentence. So this time you're actually writing um, like you would typically see it in math without the words. 20 is two times as many as 10. You're gonna write 20 equals two times 10. Number eight, 18 is 10 more than eight. So I'm gonna write 18 equals eight plus 10. Remember when I saw as many as, or at times as many, I am multiplying. When I saw more than, I'm adding. Number nine, 35 is seven times as many as five. So I'm gonna write 35 equals seven times five. 16 is four times as many as four. So I'm gonna write 16 equals four times four. Okay, we're gonna go down to number 11 and 12. Do not get worried that these are word problems. I know a lot of times we see those word problems and we kind of get nervous. Number 11 says earthworms have four more hearts than humans. How many hearts do earthworms have? I need us to write it as a problem. So how many hearts do humans have? Everyone? One. Okay. But we're doing four more hearts. So earthworms have four more than humans. How would I write that as a problem? Let's try it. Perfect. 
five hearts. Number 12, ants can lift 50 times their body weight. An ant weighs five milligrams. How much weight can the ant lift? So we're doing 50 times their body weight. They weigh five milligrams. How did you find that? So I took the zero off the 50 and did uh, five times five equals 25, then, then I added the zero back. Perfect. So we're going to do 50 times five. And you did five times five is 25, and then you just added that zero on the end? Yeah. Which is great. We can always do it that way. And I'm going to write out milligrams here. Our answer is 250 milligrams. We are going to stop there with our lesson today, and you guys have been doing such a great job. We're adding this to our YouTube channel, our Big Ideas Math Book, Modeling Real Life, and this is grade four. See you next time. See you.